for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. And uh, so when the good folks at Bui Blasters reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review some blasters from the website, I said absolutely. In the first wave, I asked for a bunch of the new worker stuff, because I knew it was good stuff and I knew I wanted it. Then they reached out and said, hey, do you want some more stuff? So I went through the website and looked at the weird stuff. I'd ask you guys to give suggestions for what you'd like to see reviewed, and uh, then went from there. There were a couple that jumped out at me, so I said, hey, send me these ones. And they asked me to do individual videos on them instead of doing them all at once. So we're going to start with this one, which, as the box suggests, is the Winchester Soft Bullet Education Model. From Wicker. 14 plus. Meh. Let's take a look at it. It looked pretty nifty. Oh look, instructions. And uh hmm. Hmm. Okay, well we'll probably end up needing those. And uh here's the thing. It is shell ejecting. Uh but it looks like proprietary shells, and for that matter, proprietary darts. They look uh they look really small, smaller than Elite, and that, that might not be, oh, those heads feel real rigid too. I also have suction cup versions. Um, that could be a problem because if you can't get ammo for it, that, that's not in its favor. But let's take a look at this thing. It might be that we can get around that particular conundrum. I was not expecting the internals to be almost all metal. Oh, that is... Oh, that is a smooth action. There is a trigger safety, so you can't fire it while the lever is out. Anyway, let's continue assembling this. We have a barrel assembly, of course. Fascinating. Looks like it's a tight barrel for a short ways. Uh, seems to be some hmm, shenaniganery going on there. Might be to stop the shell. I don't know. But, see, that goes there, obviously. Oh. Which way does this go? Like that. There is a weight in here, I assume just to make it more, give it more realistic feel. We have tools, we do have tools! And parts! Oh, okay. There was something in the instructions about an EVA foam pad. It would appear that that is for this, so it doesn't rattle around. And there it is! And that, uh... <laughs> With a paint job would look incredibly realistic. This is definitely not a blaster for public events. Uh, definitely much more something for, say, a cosplay, a cowboy cosplay maybe, or a private event. Um, also, the, the fact that it takes proprietary ammo really makes it kind of problematic for any variety of reasons. Let's see how it works. So. You load shells in exactly the way you load shells into an actual Winchester. Into the side here. So, that's how it works. Uh, the shell does not actually get seated into the barrel. It basically just seats up behind it and then the a hose runs here to where the plunger tube is. And fire, eject to shell. Fire, eject to shell. Lose the shell into the dungeon that is the underside of my workbench. That is fascinating! Let's see how well it actually works, because it's got kind of a small plunger tube, which is a shame, because there's so much room back here. Take it to the range and see how it performs out there, and maybe I'll grab a different chronograph. To the range! Right, here on the range with the Winchester-y looking thing, I've got the, uh, the dome tip darts. They're pretty rigid dome tips. Loaded up, got all six in there, five in the tube, one in the chamber. Let's see if I can, in fact, reach out to the 25 at all. Neary so much. Uh. <laughs> oh, didn't quite chamber. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Properly chambered this time. There we go. I got a hit! 
I managed to get the 25. Another hit. Well, short. Let's try the suction cup darts and see if they fly any better. Now for tiny suction cup darts. Let's see if we can hit anything at all. I hit with the first try. Short. No good. Oh, a little short. Ah, come on. I got the one. I think that's all I'm gonna get. Right. Let's go talk about it. Well, the performance was dismal, but not quite as bad as I was expecting. I was, in fact, able to hit the target uh, once or twice. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely below muster. And again, I can think of a number of things that you could use this for. I definitely wouldn't recommend taking this to a public Nerf War for a variety of reasons. Obviously, the, you know, it looks very real, even despite the colors. Um, the performance is atrocious. Proprietary shells, proprietary darts, definitely not something I would recommend running in public. But I can think of a number of places where something like this might be useful. Again, some sort of a Wild West cosplay, uh, or even steampunk type stuff. Yeah, this could, in fact work quite well for those because it is of the right era. Um, possibly some kind of a LARP, though again between the, the poor performance, the shells, and the darts, I wouldn't recommend it because once you lose all six shells the blaster is completely inoperable and it's the same thing with the darts, once you lose the darts you're gonna have trouble because they're not standard size darts. They are in fact considerably smaller. Do I have? There we go. Don't know if I showed this earlier in the video, but uh, it is considerably smaller. Uh, n normal darts are approximately 50 caliber. These are closer to 40 caliber. And so um, a finding or even making your own darts would be, would be difficult. Um, you'd need to find that size foam, which may or may not be readily available, but uh, yeah, and you could probably reverse engineer the shells and 3D print them, though they do have a rubber gasket in the back, you'd have to figure that out, TPU maybe. Um, but again, I don't know that any of that would be worth it because the performance is so poor. Now, how much could you improve the performance? I don't know. Um, the internals are mostly metal, and so you might be able to get a fairly heavy spring in there, but it doesn't have a particularly large plunger tube. And so you'd probably end up with diminishing returns of having a really heavy prime and not getting that much more pressure because you've got a lot of dead space in a hose that goes from the plunger tube to the back of the shell and a long barrel that is weirdly... Uh, yeah, it's strange. Uh, there's a lot of inefficiency. It probably could perform a lot better than it does if you cut down the barrel, improve the spring, but then you're losing the cosmetics, so, you know, give or take. It's, it's really going to be something that's going to be up to you. The cosmetics really are quite fantastic. I mean, if you painted it up, it would look like a Winchester in both size, and even though the, 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 that extra weight makes it, you know, it's obviously still much lighter because the barrel's plastic, but... Um, and the, the fact that it actually does load the way it's supposed to, it's got some neat stuff. There's definitely uses for this for the right person, but it would be a fairly niche uh, area. But there you go, there are my thoughts on it. I think it's neat. I'm gonna put it on a wall somewhere and it'll be a conversation piece when people come to the shop going, what is that? And I go, well, I'll tell you. But other than that, I doubt I'll ever run it anywhere. You never know though. Behave your stuff. Anyway, my thanks to Bwee Blasters for sending it. It is a really cool blaster. They do have some more neat ones I want to take a look at. Uh, link to it will be down in the description as well as a link to their whole catalog. Let me know if there's more blasters you'd like me to review and I will see if they're still willing to send me more after this review. Thank you for watching. Mwaha! Blabity.